Man United are advancing in talks with Paris Saint-Germain over a potential deal for Manuel Ugarte Uruguay International, formerly of Sporting CP in Portugal, has been compared to N'Golo Cani for his ball-winning ability and could help Eric Ten Hag shore up his midfield. Manuel Ugarte's total of 98 tackles was the highest by anyone in League One last season, and he managed it despite starting only 21 games out of 34. For a team, in Paris Saint-Germain, who spent roughly 66% of the time in possession. The numbers underline his remarkable ball-winning prowess, and they were even higher in his final campaign at previous club sporting, during which the Uruguay International racked up 121 tackles in 31 games, the most by any player in Portugal's Primera Liga. Across the two seasons, there is only one player in Europe's major leagues who has averaged more tackles per 90 minutes, and that is Joao Palhinha. The man Ugarte helped to replace in Sporting's midfield before earning his 51M move to PSG last summer. Fast forward a year and Ugarte is in demand again. Manchester United's midfield was a problem area last season. Eric Ten Hag's side were too easy to play through. Ugarte, nine years younger than the fading Case Miro at 23, could bring qualities they lacked. Certainly, his defensive work has made an impression to this point in his career. He has seven lungs, he never stops, said Juan Ramon Carrasco, his former manager at Phoenix in Uruguay. He has an extraordinary ability to steal the ball, said PSG boss Luis Enrique. He reminds me of N'Golo Kanti, added PSG defender Lucas Hernandez. The comparison with Kanti is a mouth-watering one for Manchester United fans and is lent credence by the fact Hernandez counts the former Chelsea midfielder as a teammate with France. Even achieving half as much as him in the Premier League would make Ugarte a worthy investment for United. There are some parallels. As well as being a prodigious tackler, Ugarte reads the game smartly, anticipating danger with timely interceptions. Like Candy, he also has a formidable engine which allows him makes his presence felt offensively as well as defensively. He dominates more than half the pitch, added Carrasco. Indeed, although a defensive midfielder, Ugarte ranked second in League One for possessions won in the final third last season, a statistic which highlights his aggressive and front-footed approach to defending. At times, he steps close to the mark. A trip to Arsenal in the Europa League with Sporting saw him sent off for a late foul on Bukeo Saka, but that was one of only two red cards across four seasons in Europe. He is mostly savvy enough to stay within limits. And besides, his performance that night at the Emirates Stadium sticks in the memory for other reasons. Before the sending off, in the final few minutes of extra time, Ugarte was key in securing the one-to-one -one draw with allowed Sporting to progress on penalties. He worked tirelessly off the ball and showed his quality on it, ranking top among all players for both tackles and dribbles. That dribbling ability is another alluring aspect of his game. Ugarte is capable of skipping past opponents often deep in his own half, to progress the ball up the pitch. During Sporting's run to the Europa League quarterfinals that year, only two of his teammates, wingers Pote and Marcus Edwards, completed more take-ons. Of course, the most pressing issues at United are defensive. Ten Hag's side conceded 58 goals in the Premier League last season, the club's highest ever total. Only Sheffield United, West Ham and Luton Town allowed more shots on their goal. There is an urgent need for more security in the center of the pitch, where their opponents found space all too often, and Ugarte could provide it, albeit not necessarily as a lone defensive midfielder. Before I arrived at Sporting, I liked to play as a number six, but now I have got used to playing with another player next to me, he said in an interview during his time in Lisbon. I am a better player than I was a year ago, he added. I have adapted to different positions. The 23-year-old primarily operated as part of a double pivot in Sporting's midfield, mostly alongside Jaime Mesa Morita, and it was a similar story last season at Paris Saint-Germain, where he was mostly used alongside either Warren Zaire Emery or Vitinha. His presence could help Kabi Mainu at United. The youngster was a major success story last season, capping a stunning breakthrough campaign with an outstanding display and a crucial goal in the FA Cup final win over Manchester City. But for every one of those attacking forays, like the one which allowed him to slot in Bruno Fernandes' pass at Wembley, there was an instance of Maynou struggling at the other end, with Case Miro, his midfield partner, unable to adequately cover open spaces. Ugarte would bring greater physical intensity, and he can handle the ball too. 
He is not as adventurous as Case Miro with his passing, but he is certainly more efficient, his accuracy rate of around 91%, significantly higher than the Brazilian's 83%. There is room for improvement when it comes to threading passes through the lines. He only directed 15% of his passes forward last season in League One, according to Opta. His conservative passing choices were a reported source of frustration to PSG boss Luis Enrique. At United, though, there is a need for better ball retention. After all, many of their defensive issues last season stemmed from a lack of control in midfield. Casemiro's ambitious passing became a contributing factor, given how often it resulted in turnovers. It is another example of how the tough tackling Ugarte could help his 10 hag looks to strike the right balance in the heart of his team. Facundo Palistri joins Panathinaikos in permanent move from Manchester United. Panathinaikos have completed the signing of Manchester United forward Facundo Palistri. The Athletic reported on Sunday that Panathinaikos had reached an agreement in principle with the Uruguay International on a four-year contract. The Greek club have agreed to pay a 6 million fee with up to 2 million in add-ons based on his future performance. United retain a 45% sell-on clause as part of the agreement and a buyback option, which is valid for the next three years. The winger will work under compatriot Diego Alonso, who was appointed as Panathinaikos head coach this summer. Palistri spent the second half of last season on loan at Spanish side Granada, where he scored two goals in 15 appearances. The 22-year-old made 14 appearances for United in the 2-0-2-3-2-4 campaign prior to his loan move to Spain. His one and only Premier League start came in United's defeat to Crystal Palace in September. Palistri previously enjoyed two separate loan spells in La Liga with the Laves, where he made 35 appearances across the 200 and 2021 and 2022 campaigns. He joined United from Uruguayan club Pinarol in 2020. The attacker becomes the 13th player to leave Old Trafford this summer.